Hey you guys, I'm going to jump right into this tutorial. I'm using this duo brush and one and only I got it from the beauty supply store. And I'm just doing my eyebrows to the best of my ability. Uh, I'm going to naturally carve it out. Now I'm looking for some, I think, yeah, I'm looking for my Juvia's Place um, concealer in the number 11. And I use number 13. And I just mix those together. I use the lightest, which is 11 at the bottom, and then I would use the 13 at the top. So just carving those brows out. And then I'm using my Real Techniques, I think a crease brush, I'm not sure, but I know that it works good with blending. I'm not even sure what brush this is. Then I'll go back and use that spoolie. I did both of my eyebrows already. So I'm going in with that Juvia's Place number 11 all over my lid. And I'm going to take my, you know, my blending sponge by Real Techniques and just blending that in. Make sure I get all the product in. And then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup and Warm Beige. And just go over my lid just to soak that concealer up just to set everything so the eyeshadow can be nice. Dust, just dust everything off. Then I'm gonna go with my Juvia's Place palette. I'm gonna be going in with that deep purple shade. I believe this is a Ruby Kids brush. I'm not sure which one. And I want to make like a halo. I'm gonna put a halo over my eyes. I, I, I mean, I can't explain it, but it's a halo. I don't want it to be, you know, I want it to be like oval. So I'm gonna go in and pat that purple shade on. Just pat, 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 pat it on. You know, don't rub this yet. I want everything to be patted on. And then I wanna take my pink Spy Juvia's Place palette in that dark pink. And I'm gonna go in with the blending on the outer edges just to blend everything and just to mesh everything so the colors can pop. I really wasn't feeling this um, brush at all, as you can see me waving my hands. So I found my Morphe brush, and it's so good with blending to the point that it'll blend the other eyeshadow off. So you gotta watch me blend, 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 pat and blend, pat and blend, pat and blend through this process. I'm patting and I'm blending. And when you pat and blend a little bit too much, you can take away from the purple, you know? So you're gonna see me coming in, you know, with the brush that I had, and I'm going to be adding that purple because you can swipe some and sweep some off. So I'm going to go in and make it more deft, you know, give it some more definition. And I'm going to take the P. Louise right now. I think it's the Romo 4 or 2. I'm not sure, but I'm going to halo that middle out. So I'm going to be packing that P. Louise in. And the thing that I like the P. Louise because it don't, it, you know, when it dries, it dries, it dries very quickly. So you got to be quick with this stuff. It just holds your eyeshadow in so nice. So that's why I love this product. I'm gonna go in, pack that on. I think it's an Eco Tools brush. I'm just using the little part just to, you know, blend everything out and pat it out and make sure I don't have any harsh edges. And then I'm gonna take the pinks palette again and I'm gonna go with that little salmon color. I think I need a pop of that in the middle. I just want a little bit more action going on other than the pink and purple. So I'm gonna put that pink salmon color in the middle. So I'm putting that right in the middle. Right in the middle. And I'm gonna use my glue by IND by Kiss. And I'm gonna put it in just in the middle because I wanna put some glitter. So I'm just gonna pat that glue in. And then I'm gonna go with my Glow Up Academy glitter. I'm not sure, it's by Kiki, shout out to Kiki. I'm not sure what the glitter is called, but I know it's very pretty. It's like a goldish, you know, pigmented glitter. And I'm going, oh my God, this is my favorite primer. I have oily skin. So this does the job, the Becca pour, the matte pour. I'm just gonna, you know, go with my all nighter because I want everything to stick and everything to be matte. And I'm gonna go with my 355 and my 356. I mean, I really can't find 
my right foundation yet. I mean, I have to mix these two. I mean, any foundation you gotta mix. So I just put that all over, I spread it out. So when I do blend it out with my blending brush, I don't have to do much. You know, I'm just blending, blending basically. And I make sure my beauty blender is wet and I put some setting spray on it and it does the job. It, you know, it spreads it out more where you don't have to put globs and globs of foundation. So that's a trick that I've learned. I spray it and wet it and you know, it's just so much better than a, a dry one. I would never, could never. So just make sure your beauty blender is a little bit wet, you know, when you blend in everything out. I'll be looking for something again. I'm going to go back with that Juvia's Place Concealer in number 11. And I'm going to go under my eyes, you know, just to brighten it up. And mind you, this is like one tone away from my skin tone because I don't want it to be too bright under there because I'm not going for that look. Sometimes I would go, but I mean, some looks you don't have to do that. Ugh, I can't, ugh, I can't explain it. The white under the eye. So, you know, I just want a little pop. I'm going to be taking my, um, damn, Black Radiance. I'm not even sure what color press powder that is but I know it's a little close to my skin tone but it's a little darker so I do use it you know just gonna do my <laughs> see me dancing <laughs> I'm doing my nose doing the bridge of my nose cupid's bow everything black radiance I'm gonna take that black radiance all over I'm thinking this is an it's cosmetic brush I'm not even sure of the brush but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it all over my face I'm gonna go under with another Eagle Two brush. I'm taking that warm beige again by Sasha Buttercup. I'm just gonna be placing that under my eye. You know, I don't want it too light, so we're gonna leave it on for a few minutes. Go back in with that pressed powder by Black Radiance and just go over everything. I'm going to go over it because I don't want it to be too light. So I'm going to go over the press pad. I'm going to use my Fenty. And my you, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know what this shit is called. I don't even know what it's called. Damn, Rihanna. Free, free. But I know it's my favorite. Y'all can't even see it on camera. But this is my favorite highlighter ever. Ever, ever. After Too Faced, this is my favorite. I'm going to go with my little beauty supply store. Um, crayon pencil I always do OD with the bottom lid and I'm gonna go with my NYX I'm not even sure if this NYX color but I know it's a pretty powdery pink and then I'm gonna go in with my J page in the nudes it's like a glittery goldish I can't even but I know it's so pretty and I just put it all over my mouth okay Gotta get the colors up, okay? Yeah. I put my um eyelashes off camera. Put some eyebrow gel on that. And I am done. Let's spray and let's go. Yeah. You see me. Yeah. Yes, no filter for the girls. I love this look. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Subscribe to me, please.